In this video, I want to give you a quick overview of Euler's fee function. Euler's fee function is used in the RSA public key encryption algorithm. And if you watch my other videos on RSA, I talk about Euler's fee function in more detail, including how to compute uh, Euler's fee function quickly. But for now, I just want to tell you what it is without getting too mathematical. Euler's fee function is also known as Euler's totient function. Euler's totient function. So you, you will see it referred to both as Euler's totient function and Euler's fee function. This is the Greek letter phi, and we apply it to integers. So n would be a positive integer. As I said, Euler's phi function is used in the RSA public key encryption algorithm. Before I tell you what it does, let's get some basic mathematical terminology out of the way. You might have heard of GCD before. GCD stands for Greatest Common Divisor. Greatest Common Divisor is the largest integer that would divide your two integers evenly with no remainder. For example, the GCD of 6 and 9 is 3, because 3 is the largest integer that will divide both 6 and 9 evenly. The GCD of 5 and 15 is 5. The GCD of 8 and 27 is 1 because 1 is the largest integer that will divide both 8 and 27 evenly. And there are several methods of computing the GCD, and in my other videos I will talk about more efficient ways of computing GCD, but for now I'm just going to leave GCD as it is. Now let's talk about what it means to be relatively prime. Relatively prime means that the GCD of your two numbers is 1. So the GCD of 8 and 27 is 1. So 8 and 27 are relatively prime to each other. Let's see some other examples. The GCD of 10 and 19 is 1. So 10 and 19 are relatively prime to each other. GCD of 7 and 17 is 1. So 7 and 17 are relatively prime to each other. Now with that out of the way, let me show you Euler's fee function. If I say, take the phi of the number 6, what you do is you write down all the integers from 1 to 6. So you write down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And you ask yourself, of these numbers, how many are relatively prime to 6? How many of these numbers have a GCD of 1 with 6? So let's compute their GCDs. GCD of 1 and 6 is 1. GCD of 2 and 6 is 2. GCD of 3 and 6 is 3. GCD of 4 and 6 is 2. The GCD of 5 and 6 
is 1, and the GCD of 6 and 6 is 6. So, how many of these numbers are relatively prime to 6? Well, let's see. This is, this isn't, this isn't, this isn't, this is, and this isn't. So, the phi of 6 is 2. You just count your check marks. You see how that works? So, we don't even care what the actual GCDs are, as long as it's not 1. All we care about is how many have a GCD of 1.